So Cade McNamara is a good quarterback. He's um, a top, I would put him in the range of top 25 quarterback in the nation. Something like that. Yep. J.J. McCarthy could turn out to be a great quarterback. He's not played a full game against a good opponent uh, to show us what he can do. But we know what um, the arm talent is and the running ability and that the ceiling is much higher than Cade McNamara. Michigan being a team that should contend for a Big Ten championship, you know, you wonder what the coach decides, what Harbaugh decides, if what he sees in practice and then putting that together with, again, I thought it was a good move to give J.J. McCarthy the number of meaningful snaps in the situations that they did against good opponents as they did the entire season. I thought that was good for a number of reasons, to keep him engaged, involved, show some worth, some value that, hey, you're right here. We want to make you part of the game plan to also prepare him if McNamara would have gotten hurt to be able to step in. And he played starting with, I think, I would say the Wisconsin game was the most meaningful start or set of snaps that he got early in the season and then progressed from there. So I thought that there were a lot of positives to them giving him time uh, on the field, whatever that was, roughly 10 to 15 snaps a game. But, you know, you wonder if they get to a point where J.J. McCarthy's better athletically going to make the wow throw, the wow run, but they've got a, a not that J.J. McCarthy's going to go out there and be a wreck and make a bunch of bad mistakes and throw the ball all over the field, but where they feel as though, okay, we've got a certain level team, and based on how we play football, Cade McNamara most likely is going to make better decisions more consistently, and if J.J. McCarthy can't show them that uh, level of maturity and growth in his game, then... Who's to say that Cade McNamara is not still the better quarterback for this team? Yeah, not that, for a that, team that needs to run him to run around and make a bunch of plays. Not if he went to Rutgers or Illinois or somewhere where they would have to base the offense and depend on him exclusively to make plays. But for Michigan, the way Michigan plays football. That that very well could be the situation, and I think we're only two days into spring practice, so it's it's still pretty early. But the tough part is just is if, even if that is the case, to where all right, Kate is just consistently making better decisions. Um, I just don't know if I want to roll the dice on potentially having JJ walk into my office on May first and say coach i i want to enter the transfer portal because i mean and and obviously not that that jim harbaugh is going to get fired but i mean if, if they go let's say the you know the defense just isn't what it was last year which i i think most of us can agree that we don't think that will be the case we we actually do think that the defense will take a step back at some level it may not be a disaster but let's say a lot of the, some of those the close games that you have on the schedule you end up losing let's say michigan goes eight and four, nine and three. I mean, who's to say JJ's not the difference between you, you know, beating Michigan State and, and beating Penn State and you potentially being a, a one loss team getting in the playoff versus going with Cade and, you know, you kind of know what the what the ceiling is. It's it's just difficult. Um, and then you look at the year after. OK, that's when JJ would be a junior getting ready for the NFL draft and let's say you have a disaster of a season three and nine i could see nine and three three and nine potentially jim harbaugh being in some some hot water and it, it and obviously it's not all just because of the quarterback decision you made but that would be part of it and it's just it's it's tough i i think if kate is gonna it just if it's close ugh, i'd probably go with jj honestly if it's close but if Kate is the is the guy coming out of of the spring, you know that he's going to he's going to be that guy that's that just does not make deci or bad decisions. He's going to keep you in the game. 
Uh, but the tough part is, is, is when you need to be explosive, is he going to be able to consistently be that guy? So we'll, we'll see, but I, I agree. I think, I think Cade is a really good quarterback. I would say, yes, top 25, probably even top 20, uh, as far as, you know, quarterbacking goes and, and decision-making is, is the number one most important thing to me when playing the quarterback uh, position. So he, he's got that, that part checked off as far as making the, the good decisions. Um, but it's, oof, the, I, I think that's going to be, for the most part, the, the talk of spring ball, I, I would imagine, is just coming out of it, who is going to be, you know, the starting quarterback. Because to me, that, that's, that is going to be literally the most important question to get answered is going to be who's the, the starting quarterback for, for the season.